Jonathan, you talked a little bit about some of your experiences in um, the first business that you sold and what was important to you as you built that business. Can you just talk a little bit about that right now? Yeah, sure. Um, and it's great, great to be here. Uh, so um, I uh, was on the senior team of a huge hospital uh, and uh, it was one of those uh, experiences that was like three free MBAs. We built an enormous new hospital. We had uh, two uh, CEOs come and go during my time on the C-suite there. And I, I learned a ton. Uh, and I also realized that it was completely out of sync with the values and with how I wanted to live my life. And it wasn't really an intentional choice that, uh, that I'd found myself there. It was kind mm -hmm. of like career climbing, but to what end and for what purpose. Yeah. And so I, uh, I started a company, I, I, I left, I quit, and I started a, a management consulting company that focused on nonprofit organizations. And we spent the next 10 years uh, building a strategy shop, uh, serving nonprofits all across uh, our country. And uh, we became a B Corp. And um, I, I think what I was paying most attention to, especially towards the end of my tenure at the, at the company, was just... Um, my own energy and my own uh, enthusiasm for the work. And um, I was helping lots and lots of other leaders be better leaders through strategy work, strategic planning, positioning, marketing, branding, all the things. Mm -hmm. um, but I came to a point of realizing um, who am I as a leader and what do I want my legacy to be in this company? And I also realized that I was getting to the end of good energy for doing the work and that was coupled with uh a young person coming through the company and she was you know what really felt to me immediately like ceo material she was just like this incredible force and mm -hmm. i have one of those moments where it was kind of like one of my clients will probably steal her one day mm -hmm. <laughs> and i thought oh why am i so upset by that mm -hmm. and i realized oh it's because like in the back of reaches of my mind i think she's the next ceo here Mm -hmm. And which immediately then led me to think, well, like, what am I waiting for? And why am I in her way? I should get out of her way. Mm -hmm. And so we went through a succession planning process and, and ultimately she moved in to be the CEO and, and bought the company mm -hmm. from me. And the shift for me there was that I was able to uh, take away all of the things that I had kind of learned and consolidated over the years as a management consultant and focus them in on uh, leadership development, but for actual leaders as opposed to serving the best interests of the organization i was serving the best interests of leaders and that's my work now i mean some people i think of coaching as a tool uh i think of trusted advisory services as a tool i'm really there to serve the best interests of the person in front of me and to be as present as i can and um and so that's sort of what brought us together was to talk about my pathway to to this and the fact that um i was so intrigued by what rujuvi does because uh, I have seen the same gap, obviously, that you have seen. Uh, I just never thought it could be closed. You seemed to philosophically believe the same things that I believe, philosophically believe everything that Rajubi believes, which is when you think about this word called leadership, you, you can't think of it um, in a simple way in a simplistic way, you have to think of it in a simple way. And the simple way is you have to focus on the human. You have to focus on the leader and the work that they're actually being paid to do. And um, I think that that's what I took away from it. And so I think it's why when I look at, for example, your, um, your LinkedIn background, add these words pop for me around trusted advisory services or strategic counsel, these are services for a leader, trusted services for a leader that is trying to do something really, really challenging strategy, yeah. um, run their actual business. We, we just have so much in common about that. Yeah, for sure. And I, um, I mean, the connection between results and leadership uh, is one that has been um, perplexing to me for a long time. Um, and I was immediately drawn to your work and to your thinking around that. 